I'm gonna do a little on the water review of the Sport Old Town Sportsman uh, 120 PDL. I've been out on it a few times, so I have a, I think a better understanding of uh, the boat when I did uh, first impressions video. A, I'm a little more comfortable with the pedal drive now. I've gotten used to it. I can make it a little bit smoother, and it was it was fine the first time. But I'm actually on the water in this boat. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guys an honest review. Um, so the Old Town Topwater or Sportsman 120 PDL, very little difference between the two. Super stable boat, as you can see, I can pop right up, no problem at all. Um, some mods that I have done to it in the short time that I've had it is obviously install a fish finder, which you guys saw that video, hopefully. That was the Yak Attack uh, through hole video. So what came with it was there was a Navarre plug and then those spacers from Navarre. I used the Navarre scupper transducer mount that I had from the 106 Minn Kota. Um, I've installed this ram tube right here because I like, I reel left handed so I like to re, uh, put my rod to the right. And on this boat you only have a left front facing rod holder not a right one. Other mod that I've done is uh, added the Navarre handle here and the bolt and the rudder, which you know kind of defeats the whole purpose of the Titan thing. Um, it just stays, which is nice. It's a little bit tighter rudder, but I think it does work better. And then got the risers. Obviously my bending branch is paddle. So that, that's so that's the mods that I'm working with as of right now. I really do dig the uh, instant reverse, which is pedaling backwards. That is a nice touch. Um, something I'm not used to coming from a Hobie, as you have to pull you have to pull a lever whenever you wanna um, go in reverse. So, uh, it's plenty stable. Uh, we've already been over that. It can stand up no problem. Um, storage. Uh, I like the, the hatch in the middle on the on the um, pedal drive. It's not as big as like something like in a Hobie where you get a big Hobie hatch. Uh, the front tank well storage way up there. That is awesome. You can fit a ton of stuff in that. Um, you do have these 18 inch tracks on either side, which is nice. You only get one cup holder, but hey, some, some kayaks still don't come with cup holders. Um, in the back, here's the tank well situation. So I've got the Navarre plug, my shoes, my big uh, Yeti bottle, and my black pack. It's got the other camera and four rods. This hatch right here, uh, it's just for access really. You can't really do much with that um, on the water. I fished from it a little bit today. I'm gonna keep fishing from it. The reasons I bought it is I wanted to get back. The autopilot kind of made me lazy, if I'm being honest. So I wanted to get back to getting a, some kind of cardio while I'm on the water. All right, so another thing, fishability, great. Uh, this is a very fishable boat with the instant reverse. You can stop on a dime. As you guys can see, it turns pretty well. I mean, I'm not gonna say it turns excellent, but it turns good enough. I mean, that's my wake right there. So within 15 feet. Um, I like the rod stagers right here. As you can see, and they don't get in the way with the pedals. So that's nice, you can kind of keep them. The one that you're fishing with, if you're moving spots, you can leave it there, or you can even fish two and leave the other one right there. Uh, paddle holder. These paddle holders are actually really good. I like them. Uh, not only do they stay in without that, but then you have the added security of that rubber grip right there. Same thing as the, it's on the autopilot. Again, you have a front facing rod holder. I don't use it because I reel left handed, so I use the one that I mounted to the handle over here. Um, I am six foot, 5'11", six foot, and this is the setting I have on the seat. 
So we were one, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh hole is the hole that I'm locked into, which gives me a decent amount of leg room here. I can stand on the pads. I'm not so close to the drive that I lose my, you know, my console or my my cockpit area. Um, as you can see, it's a smooth drive, man. Um, I've been really impressed. Like I said, I've never been a fan of the propeller bicycle style pedals. Always been Hobie. This is a great alternative. However, as you can see, my size 12 feet right here. If I use the balls of my feet on the pedals, then the heel of my foot drags on the hole. On a Hobie, you're just going back and forth. So you don't have to worry about that. So I literally have to put the pedals in the arch of my foot, which is a little, can be a little awkward. And with shoes, it would be even worse. Um, so if you got big feet, just know that you might have to put your heels or your arch on the pedal versus uh, the balls of your feet. It's a pretty dry boat. There's not a whole lot of water, but not a whole lot of water coming through. The scuppers are doing pretty good. Um, I don't have any water coming through. I've seen some issues with that. I, this one's fine, doesn't have that issue. If you add some scuppers, it'd be bone dry. Scupper plugs. If you're looking for a rock solid drive, which the PDL is, it comes with a five year warranty. I mean, that's crazy. See, they're, they're back in their, their claim of being uh, reliable. So you're gonna get five years with that. Uh, you get a lifetime hole warranty, which is, again, quality. Um, it is a heavy boat. It's not as light as I thought it would be. It's a little bit lighter than my autopilot, obviously. Autopilots are really heavy, especially when you add battery and motor and a boondocks and all that, you know, all that stuff. So it's still, it's a little heavy. It's about a hundred pounds, give or take. A boondock system on this would be pretty hard to mount, but I think people have done it. I think you just have to put like risers right here so it goes over this handle so that you can still use this. Um, but yeah, on big boats like this, 100 pounds plus, I like to rock the boondocks. So we've been over fishability, check. You know, you can maneuver with the rudder, with the pedals, with instant reverse. You can stand easily. It's got storage, so fishability, not an issue. It's a great boat for fishing. Um, comfortable, it's the same seat as it's in my autopilot, like I said um, in that video uh, versus the Hobie. Seat is not as good as a Hobie, but it's good. I mean, it's up there. Uh, Bonafide makes a good seat. Hobie makes a really good seat. Um, and these new Old Town seats are pretty good. Wish they had a little bit more adjustment, but other than that, it's a comfortable seat. I've fished many a days in them, so. Um, I've been fishing exclusively out of Old Town for over a year now. Very comfortable seat. Comfort is there along with fishability and stability. Um, so the next category is speed. Um, I got the fish finder on the uh, PDL now. So uh, we can crank it up and, and see how fast we go. She's actually pretty fast. She's faster than my autopilot. She's making a, a lot of noise, <laughs> pushing a lot of water. I mean, it's a bigger kayak and it's a very wide kayak and stable kayak. So, and I did get a little bit of water that time pushing that hard through this console right here. So I got 5.2, it's pretty good. Uh, you can't, you, uh, at least I can't maintain that speed. Some of you might be able to. But if you're looking for speed in a similar boat, I would look at the Salty PDL. It's gonna get you the same drive, same length, a little bit narrower, a little bit different hole design, lighter boat, a little less dry storage, but I think some people are getting six and seven miles an hour on that thing. So yeah, this may end up being a longer video, but I really wanna be thorough. And um, I think we've covered everything. It's a big, wide, stable boat. It's decently fast. It has a ton of storage. It's got a reliable pedal drive that performs well, um, has a great warranty. It's 
it's got accessory tracks and flat areas to mount all the accessory tracks you can want in any location you want basically humongous dry hatch a small like a uh, small dry hatch in the pedal drive itself pretty decent sized tank well it's got a power pull mount so if you want a power pull it, it's pre-drilled for that you know if if there's something you don't like about it navar kayak has a ton of aftermarket parts and accessories and stuff like that like the seat risers to make the seat sit a little higher which definitely help with pedaling uh, the spacers to make sure your drive stays um, spaced perfectly right there the floating prop nut which is awesome because if you have to take the prop off to get some weeds out of it you don't have to worry about dropping your nut in the water it'll float and it's orange so you're going to see it right away and just the the new handle right here is a lot more comfortable in my opinion than what old town ships with and you can and you can buy even a, a plug if you want to take this thing paddling like i said earlier so navarre has you covered navarre kayak fishing um if you want any aftermarket stuff with this which is nice to know but yeah other than that it's a great boat now my conclusion of this boat is it's a winner i mean if you're looking for something uh that pedal driven stable maybe you're bass fishing or inshore fishing um, and if you're saltwater, I would look at the Salty or a uh, Hobie, to be honest. Um, one of those two. But you could definitely use this saltwater, no doubt. It's a stable boat. The instant reverse makes it perfect for fishing structure, like a bridge or, you know, piling or something like that. You can stay kind of locked in without having spot lock and a motor and a battery and doing all that. Yeah, it's a great boat. And for the price, oh man. The price is the best thing about this boat. I think it starts at like $21.99. So $2,200. And you get something that is a 12 foot, 30, I think it's, not real sure. I think it's 36 inches wide. I'd have to look it up. It's between 34 and 37 inches wide. So pretty wide boat, stable hull, fast boat, 2,200 bucks. Can't beat it. And I bought this boat just because I wanted to try out the PDL so that I could, in good faith, recommend it, having tried it and everything, which I can now do. So um, it's a great boat. I definitely recommend it. If you're not into Hobie, um, definitely give this a look. I've heard Native's good too. Bonafide's new uh, PDL or Propel drive. But it's hard to beat a five-year warranty, which I think the Propel also has. And this PDL, I think Hobie's is three years. But um, Hobie's looks to be a little more easy to fix on your own uh, and there's a ton of videos because it's been around for so long uh, the 360 not so much but yeah if you're looking for a pedal drive under twenty five hundred dollars under three thousand dollars which they're i mean they're climbing up there i would definitely give the sportsman 120 pdl a good look because it's well worth the price big stable platform great for bass fishing um, you got some cockpit area you got pouches on the side you got this seat storage so you got a pouch under your seat and then you have this actual like under your seat storage so the storage for bait and tackle and everything is great twenty two hundred dollars it's a definite buy from me and uh hopefully this helps you out uh, making your decision anyways guys i'll see you in the next one